Hi everyone. So, I have an issue I want to talk about today. Um, see, I mean, this is just basic. And, you know, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. Um, anytime somebody's doing something that really bothers you, um, it all comes back to projection. So, you know, anytime they're doing something that bothers you, it's actually you projecting something about yourself, some issue that you have, and they're just amplifying that. Because remember, you are the god of your reality. So, you know, I have lessons like this, obviously, everybody does. So I have this friend, good friend of mine, um, he is doing things uh, that, that is bothering me. And, you know, it really shouldn't be bothering me because I know better. So I, I must be projecting. You see, he's very uh, political. He, he goes on social media, he posts all kinds of political stuff. And, um, yeah, you know, the big social justice warrior type. Um, now, first I'll explain the, what that is, and then I'll explain um, my part. So, in, anytime somebody's uh, caught up in this uh, kind of surface level political um, rhetoric uh, viewpoint, um, this is something that is projected out for the masses. This is like a mass belief. This is, uh, it, it's a divide and conquer thing. Um, what's going on here is, um, you know, depending on what side appeals to you, if you're buying into this, saying, okay, this is, uh, these are, those, those people over there, they're all bad guys. And I'm on the side of the good guys. And... I'm going to elect these good guys and they're going to come save the day. Funny because each side claims this, right? It's, it's a bigger deception. There's, there's actually the same group controlling both, but I'm not really even going to go into that. And then you have the big uh, social justice warrior thing, which is, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a hero. I'm going to come in and save the day, right? I'm going to be the good guy. I've got, I'm going to I got this big cause. And, you know, that might truly be a calling in your life. I'm not really putting that down. But, you know, many times the case is what people are doing is they're, uh, it's a way of building their self-worth and their self-love from something outside of themselves. And this is somebody who I know has issues with self-love. Um, so I'm going to save the day. I'm going to be the good guy. Um, and, and you know what? A lot of times religion does this. Um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to do a bunch of good deeds. And that's going to build my self-worth. Um, and this is going to make me look good to this deity up there. This deity that I worship. And because I, I did these good deeds, I look good to this deity... So that's how I'm going to sort of buy my self-worth, my self-love from something outside of myself. And that's, it doesn't work. It's, it's temporary at best. It's, uh, you know, it, it, your, your self-worth, your self-love, it's got to come from within. Or else it's not real, it's not genuine. So anyway, there's that. And then there's the fact that many of these causes, they they get people, uh, I, I'm not even going to say causes, men. then there's the fact that, uh, see a lot of this uh, so-called information or propaganda that's put out to the masses, what it's designed to do is take your energy. It's it's designed to uh, 
to invoke certain emotions. And that emotions, that's your life force energy. That is energy in motion. That is very powerful. Um, I'm gonna talk about in other videos just how powerful your emotion is and what you can do with it. But there are people in positions of power that know this and they wanna take that and they wanna direct it. So what you're doing is you're giving away your life force energy, your emotion, by buying into certain uh, propaganda, which is designed specifically to harvest your emotions, to harvest your energy. So you're giving away your energy and that's less energy for you. When you really come to understand just how important your emotions are, your energy in motion, um, you really don't want to be spreading that out too many places outside of yourself because you really want to use that energy and direct and control it. You don't want to let others direct and control it for you because that is just, that's very disempowering and could be very harmful to you. Now these are things I know, right? So, now I'm going to go back to how this affects me, the lesson I learned from this. Keep in mind, I have been on the path to truth. I've been studying esoteric knowledge for about 20 years now. When this path found me, I made a promise to myself that I was going to go as far down the rabbit hole as I could possibly go and let truth be my teacher. You know, and I know some of you are are on this path or on a similar path as well. You're on the path to truth as well. And you know, when you've been on this path a while, you get kind of lonely at times and you want to just wake people up. You, you want to teach them, you want to shake them almost and just wake them up and just show them these are the deceptions that's going on. This is how reality works. You have been deceived. You've been lied to. You want to just wake people up because when you really find truth, when you really get into it, when you really operate from that, it's it's a beautiful thing. It really enhances your life, and you want to share that with people. And the majority of people around you just don't get it. And it can be very frustrating and very lonely. And you just want to wake them up. And that's a great issue in itself. But let me tell you how this goes back to me and my lesson. So remember, it goes back to projection. You are the God of your reality. And so if some, somebody's doing something that's really bothering you, it's an issue within you that you are projecting onto them. And this is why shadow work is so important because you have to look within. It's all about what's going on within. Because when you've got it together within, you're not really gonna be worried about anything that's going on outside of you because everything is a projection of, from within. You are the God of your reality. So it's no different for me. So why was I so bothered by this? Why am I still bothered by this, honestly? And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way, but it's like, really when you have a strong need to wake people up, and you see quite frankly, seems like they're such idiots. Like, 
why are they not awake? Well, you could present them with all kinds of evidence to wake them up, and, and they're just not waking up. So, look back at your need to wake them up. Why do you have that need to wake them up? Why are you judging them for being asleep? For maybe not having the level of awareness that you have. Why do you need to judge them for that? If you're truly at peace with that, you're going to take comfort in the fact that you have this level of awareness, that you know this truth, that you're able to see it, and it helps you to navigate your own life and your own energy, and you have control over that. And the fact is, you can't wake other people up. You can put information out there, and those that are ready, they'll come. If they're not ready, they won't. People are going to be ready when they're ready, when it's their time. And just respect that. Have peace in that. Just worry about where you're at. Everybody is different. Everybody is on their own journey. And each and every one of them. And each and every journey is beautiful in of itself. Thank you for watching. Namaste.